Today we got another update. It mainly just came with fixes to bugs from yesterday's update. But in the patch, they also added the end of match panel for the new VAC changes when they cancel a match. The new specific reason is abnormal behavior, which just plays into the previous update with the new VAC warning. When you check out the band numbers, they haven't seen any drastic changes, unfortunately. The band numbers are still the same within the past month as it seems these new VAC changes aren't fully implemented into our game just yet. Actually, I spoke too soon. I just refreshed the page and now I'm seeing the most VAC bans of the entire month. This is actually pretty great news. We're only a few hours into the 27th of April, which means all the bans haven't even been accounted for. You can see right here, this site now has a banner which says today's amount of VAC bans five times higher than average amount of bans for past month. So it seems like we are actively in a ban wave right now as I speak. When I was first making this video, there was no bans happening, but now they are starting. So I would not be surprised that in 10, 12 hours, maybe by the end of the day, end of the weekend, we have thousands of bans on our hands. And same thing with Overwatch. Or the trusted partners Valve is giving access to are so trusted nobody even knows who they are. For the new VAC changes, I haven't seen a single game get cancelled for abnormal behavior yet, or any player receive a new VAC cooldown. But once it starts happening and the VACing begins, I will cover everything so make sure you are subscribed. Before we continue, Clash GG is a site with a lot of game modes like dice or also case battles where you can win skins. Make your own case in seconds and then share it to your friends to see who gets the best unbox. Deposit with code WATERCS for a 5% bonus and then easily withdraw when you are done. Players still seem to be running into hackers after the update, but with all these recent anti-cheat changes, I don't think it will last that much longer. At least I'm hoping. It is the start of the weekend now, which means we'll probably start seeing the accounts with the first access to Overwatch next week once Valve gets back in the office. I am hoping they don't give out access like the CS2 beta because that was a disaster. Then they were giving out access to VAC banned accounts, pro players, and just random Steam users. I personally don't think pros are going to be ripping out that many Overwatch cases in between pro matches, so hopefully Valve has a different strategy. Talking about pros, many have some complaints after the recent update. One of the most level-headed ones was Twist saying, A few things Valve could adjust after this update, bring back the two different types of view model Bob. It was fine the way it was to be honest. Add a setting that allows us to see our own view model when spectating. It is cool to see the left hand right hand adjustments in game, but it should be a player preference. A few bugs that are happening and is still hoping for some performance optimization to be worked on. Besides that, the update was good. In terms of the new map pool, with the removal of Overpass and then adding Dust2, Elyse has called it the worst map pool ever. Valve shocked players with this change, seeing as Overpass was recently remade for CS2, but they removed it anyways. Although it was a new remake, people still didn't enjoy playing on it. You can assume that Valve has all the data on all maps and Overpass was the least played or probably the first band in Premiere, which is why they decided to remove it. Some players are understanding to why Overpass was removed and aren't really upset at Overpass, but the fact we got Dust 2 instead. Valve has been teasing Train to us at the Major, in trailers, but then they just didn't give it to us in this update. It has been over 13 months since we seen Train in CS2 from this trailer and it's still not in the game or any other map we know that they're working on like Cobble, Tuscan. I would say Cash, but FM Pwn has confirmed that Cash most likely won't be finished until 2025. But for Train, they specifically said Train in Copenhagen, but then just add in Dust2, completely trolling us. Dust2 is an iconic map for Counter-Strike. Myself and I'm sure many others expected it to return at some point to the map pool, but at least thought there was going to be some sort of changes. Dust2 is now back in the map pool, but with no actual differences from when it got removed in 2022, as it's a touchstone map for CS2, while Overpass was overhauled with actual changes. Hugo explained the update nicely, saying it was great with a bunch of quality of life fixes, but the addition of Dust2 overshadowed everything. Just feel like that's delayed any entertaining or fresh maps from rotating into active duty for at least another year. I'd rather have waited until the end of 2024 to get trained rather than have Dust2 now. 
especially when neither Inferno or Vertigo get the axe. I hope a significant remake of Overpass is coming if this is the case. Which I think is how many players feel at the moment. Why Dust 2 when it could have been a brand new map? First we need to look at what's at the end of the year, in December 2024, which is the Shanghai Major. So having map pool changes around this time of the year seemed most reasonable. And well that's where Valve must have not had any new maps ready in time like Train. Although we have seen Train for over a year and still haven't actually received it yet, this most likely plays into it receiving a brand new overhaul. We saw this with Inferno. At the start of the CS2 beta, we saw a standard CS2 version of the map, but then months later, Valve released a completely new overhauled version instead. So probably the same thing is going to be happening to Train. It's just not ready yet, so they chose Dust2 instead. But why Dust2? Well, in China, it's said Crossfire is very popular. One of the maps in it is Dust2, or Desert2. So to make it easy for the newer Asian fans to follow along in the Shanghai Major, they added Dust2 in the map pool. I'll be honest, this seems pretty far out to be the actual reason. It's most likely just about money. Something they know is that all players would be spending more money on Dust2 souvenir packages to get the gold arabesque for the next major rather than overpass souvenirs. Overpass is one of the least popular collections as it's also one of the oldest in the entire game, having been active since the start of skins. Talking about either of these skin collections right now is bad because people are panic selling one and then panic buying the other, but you can see how players reacted to these skins since they have released, and it should be a no brainer comparing a masterpiece to this AK. Now this also brings in the question, is Valve starting to bring back these Operation Collections like Dust 2, or any other ones that many thought weren't going to be coming back? When you check on the market, the price of all Dust 2 2021 items have crashed, but Overpass items are rising. Some of them have doubled, even tripled in price. For the Dust 2 collection, I am assuming Valve is going to use the same one in the upcoming majors. It has some very light skins like the UMP Fade, the AK. Dust 2 was up there with the Mirage collection when it came out with Riptide, but there is some possibilities it doesn't come back. First one is that Dust 2 is being used until Train enters the map pool. I don't really believe in this because I don't know why they would add a map just to remove it in a few months. But for Train, if they really are adding it, which all signs still point to yes, I mean Valve told us it would be coming, it means a different map will still need to be removed like Mirage, Inferno, or Vertigo. There is also the chance we get a new operation with new collections, specifically for CS2 instead of the 2021 collection. This is very unlikely, which is why most signs are pointing towards the same skins returning. It doesn't really seem like the map change had anything to do about which map would make the most sense for pro players, as they're also upset with the change. It really just has to do about being more recognizable for new players to follow along, and that it will also be making more money in souvenir packages compared to Overpass. The thing is though, we still don't have Season 2, which is when the map pool change was expected to take place. So hopefully that is when we get trained, as if not, we're probably going to be having to wait until the winter. The total number of back bands today is now 7 times higher than the average number of bands for the past month. We have over 65 back bands already. We're only a few hours into the day, which means that it's probably going to get pretty juicy later on. Subscribe for more CS2 news.